Hey everybody and welcome to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott and I've got a match of X-Wing 2nd Edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between Funwalk on the left and Ian on the right. This is round six, the final round of Swiss in the Kyber Cup. Both players four and one, hoping to keep their cut dreams alive. We've got Funwalk with his Blue Squadron rookies. One, two, three, four, plus Rose. On the other side, Ian, Von Reg, Phasma, Revis, and two Zeta Squadron survivors. Nice little formation up at the top from the Resistance. Von Reg doing the classic ace move. Threaten the possibility of turning in, but probably just kite away. Revis turns away as well. Got the block down at the bottom. And I like the idea. Phasma, big three dice gun. Let's get these focus tokens out of here. Um, rolling alongside ATP, Zeta Squads, and Survivors. If you shoot Phasma, who's got the three dice gun, the uh, Special Forces gunner, um, she can bounce damage off into the friends. If you're shooting the Zetas, no big deal. Darlin, seven months. Thank you very much for the sub. Uh, Lism was asking about the uh, top 64 prizes. What happened here? It's just hard to see at this small scale. We got the uh, Perceptive Copilot, little Baby Yoda here, double sided. Some people like full-sized uh, alt art. Some people like the FFG style. Here's uh, R5. I know this is not going to look like much, but just showing you. They are here. These are the top 64 prizes. Got Boba Fett. Obviously, this double-sided is cool because it's a different image on either side. Yeah, they're real. And I had them all perfectly laid out, and now I've just ruined it. So that is what uh, top 64 players will get for making it into the cut. All images from the latest Mandalorian series. All right. So I think it's going to be, the impetus on Ian is going to be Drawing fun walk in, splitting up that formation, using Von Reg as the ace to pick ships off. It'd be great if you can get rid of Rose early and get rid of that coordinate, but she is the cheapest ship in that list at 30 points. It is a pretty big open area there in the middle. So even dragging Fun Walk through the obstacles, I mean, it may not really split anything up. I like these little rocks, though. It's it, You wanted to have obstacles with actual repercussions, but you also wanted it to be kind of easy to navigate around. Just make sure to reserve that template holder for loot. And that thing is awesome, right? Um... We just got the images of the uh, Kyber Cup template holder from Cog of Two. That thing is very cool. Pretty excited about that. All right, but that those are for later. Uh, later in the cut. 64 and 32 is getting cards. Then it's tokens. Then it's target locks. Then it's the templates. I, I'm really excited to see those templates because they, they use a fluorescent green acrylic. Um, so it does some really fun stuff when seen under the light. I'm just doing the 1-4 to victory 
for fun walk there. Banking in from the SFs at the bottom. Hard one in from Von Reg. Barreled left and backwards. So he's still got that possibility of coming at the T70s, but ain't no way. Ain't no way you're doing that. This yellow SF at the bottom has got a little bit of a weird... Are you just... Are you just banking in and... Sort of going in for a delayed joust. What initiatives do we have? Four for Phasma, two for the Zetas, six for Von Rag. So everything except Rose on Funwalk's list is a one. Actually, who has player one? Funwalk does. So his I1 Blue Squadron rookies are going to shoot before Revis. But if you're thinking about how many ships you can have shoot before the rookies and potentially initiative kill a ship, it's four. Doc Doc in the chat, how you doing? Good afternoon. Funwalk's got his dial set. Von Reg's the last to go. Is this a Daredevil Von Reg? It is. So you got a lot of maneuverability. It is nice to have Von Rag at I6, but man, anytime I'm in this sort of mixed composition with the beefy ships, I just, I love Hollow so much. I love being able to take an evade and sending it over at the start of the engagement phase to a friendly ship who looks like they're in trouble. Von Rag is much more of the pure ace. We'll see if Ian can leverage it. The bank in from the T-70s. Revis banks in, takes an evade. One bank from yellow. Probably see green come in behind that. Oh boy. Landscaping going on outside. Bank in from Rose. You gotta take that coordinate seriously back there. Rose moving after those Zetas and Revis gives you some information and some stuff to react to. So it could have coordinated a boost or something from the T-70s, but you don't need it this turn. Von Reg, two straight. Probably going to roll away. Blake says, I don't see things going for well for Reva soon. And that's, as a new FO player, I don't know what to do with Revis. I don't know where to put her. On one hand, she's super cheap. 
So you lose her, it's not a huge deal. But also if you just wait around to bring her in, she's not a late game piece, right? Goes for a lock on the rock. I like that. Uh, you do have jam on Rose. Got to take that seriously. How are we not partnering? It'll, it'll come. We just got to be patient. We'll get there. Ooh, we do have a range 3 shot unobstructed from the green T70 into Revis. Revis does have that evade. Going to be a 3v4. Double crits. <sighs> Easy. He says cooking stream is gonna be hot. Yeah, if we if we make partner, maybe I'll. I do have a um, a pizza dough rising in the in the kitchen right now. I just got my KitchenAid mixer back from being repaired, so I got to throw that dough hook on there. Make a a nice dough. Friday night's gonna be good. Actually, tomorrow is the pizza night, so I did kind of. Make that a little ahead of time. My wife reminded me when she woke up that pizza's tomorrow. Tonight is Jamaican. All right, how are we feeling? I mean, you got Revis and all the SFs moving into the middle. It, it's it's a delayed joust, right? Like, we didn't... There's no flanking happening here. Jerk chicken, uh, no. So my go-to at Jamaican was always, there's a, there's a history here, but I'm trying not to go through it all. Uh, brown stew chicken was my go-to. There was a Jamaican place in town that used to have the best fried chicken, which is weird because it's not, that's not, like, who cares how good a Jamaican place's fried chicken is, but... There used to be a Jamaican place here that had the best fried chicken I've ever had. That place went out of business, or they, they closed down this location. They still have others. A new Jamaican place moved into that location. I've tried their brown stew chicken. It's fantastic. So I think I'm going to go for the normal fried chicken this time, just to compare it to the old place. And then we'll go to, like, oxtail and jerk chicken... Also, they have something called Rasta Pasta, which is their take on a pasta salad that I really want to try. Guys, this is out of the <laughs> out of the realm of the channel, right? <laughs> Look, here's what's going to happen in this round. They're going to bank towards each other, and they're going to shoot. Who's that going to favor? Ian shoots first. Can he get a T70 to die before it shoots? And even if you do, with three T-70s and Rose shooting back at an SF, how do you feel about that trade? I mean, the less T-70s there are, the easier it is for Von Reg to ace. Blended and it's uh, Savannah, not Atlanta, but close. <laughs> if you don't eat good food, how can you even play X Wing? It's all related. Okay. Oh, 
so that Jamaican place had a Usain Bolt cocktail that was like rum, vodka, curacao, lime juice, orange juice, and pineapple juice. And it is incredible. Uh, and that's probably what I'm going to make tonight. When I make my Kyber cocktail, that's pretty much what it is. It's a green... It's a green cocktail. That counts. I tried it with some ginger beer because I wanted a little bit of carbonation in there. I think some fizz reminds me of a lightsaber. But uh, it didn't come out so, so great. 58 minutes left. This is going to be an intense round. Here we go. Using the BB Astromech, I almost forgot. It's going to slow him down a little bit. Does a range 3 engagement help him? Maybe. Oh, yes. Midori. Yes, there. that is in there as well. Green AF. There's Rebus in the middle of all of it. Takes an evade. If Rose coordinates, that will be a stress. And that's something that Rebus could lock. Although I think they're all going to shoot into a T70. Oh, this Zeta in the back goes for the lock. Which gives a lock to Revis. Right? I didn't see Revis trigger off of that. Do I not know how this works? That's a red token. Should trigger her. It's in range 1 to 2. But I like this idea, right? You've got the forward most more vulnerable SF taking the defensive mod. The offensive and defensive mod, the focus. Green in the back makes itself more vulnerable by going for the lock, but it's a worse shot because it's at range three, or maybe not even in range for, you know, red and yellow. Why did red go for that BB? Seems like it just put it in a weird position. Rebus is so easy to miss target locks. Yeah. I agree. It, it's a, it is an easy trigger to miss. I just, I thought that was the whole point of taking this target lock back here. Oh no! Oh no! Phasma on a rock. Tried to be too fancy. Wow, two bank to the right, huh? Red is challenging Von Reg, says Cubs fan. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Stopping Von Reg from easily flanking. Uh, what did... Uh, it was a blank on Phasma, but... I mean, your chances of initiative killing one of these... One of these C70s just got significantly lower. Von Reg, double mod... Takes a lock on green, but it looks like an obstructed shot if he's got arc at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, that's a rough turn for Ian. This is the... Um, and that, that's two locks on this T70 that would have triggered Revis. He's got the focus, but he opts not to use it. Two hits. Green with four dice. Range three obstructed. Spins the focus, takes nothing. Rose. Probably starts shooting into the yellow SF, I imagine. Do you really care to... Kill Rebus? Okay. Two hits.
spin the evade or take it on the shield. I don't know. All right. SFs get to shoot. They have to shoot the ship closest to them or in the closest range band. That one can only shoot one ship. Luckily, it's the one they target locked. Uh, not spending the lock. One evade. Gets the calculate from ATP. One hit. Oh boy. The complete inverse. The one without the lock gets the blanks. The one with the lock gets the focuses. Um, one evade. Another ATP. Focus. Oh man. Yeah, that fun walk hand is wild into Revis. 3v4. Two hits. One evade. Shield down on Revis. Range 2 into Revis. Ooh-wee! I mean, if you just lose Revis here, that's... Oh boy, well, you did. Ooh. Shooting over into Von Reg now. Spins the focus for hit hit. Uh he's strained. Gonna roll three. Two evades. It got better with the second roll. Revis can still shoot, yeah, you're right. Can't be initiative killed by the I1s. We'll see if she would have liked to have had that lock. Maybe she'll throw straight natties for her shot. One hit from green. Plenty of evades. Hit crit. How did Revis have a calculate? ATP. Did she miss a shot earlier? Oh well. Um, so is that an actual? Yeah, two damage in a green. Didn't need a target lock to do it. Wow. Well, 50 minutes left. Revis dies for two shields on green. Phasma not being around. Man, that was a real bummer. Time to shake off those stream nerves and give Funwalk what for. Unfortunately, the T70s are in great blocking positions. The Zetas both have calculates from ATP. So even if they bump, they will have those focus mods.
Juan Regmo. Do you go fast and use Daredevil to get in behind? Because I think the the goal for Red would be just to, to, to go fast and get in front of Von Rag to get the block. But probably the best play is slow roll. Do the one forward. Still has Red to worry about, yeah. BB8, the BB barrel roll in one bank. Ooh. I I keep forgetting about it. And everybody's got their BB charges. Uh, Red's used one. But other than that, yeah, they're all ready to go. Von Red could zoom at red and then arc dodge and start chipping away. Yeah, I mean, there's just no guarantee, right? Because red can move forward with like a three or a four and block your two or three straights or can do the one forward to block your five. Um, and then if you split the dip difference with like a four, it's all bad. There's no guarantees here. I mean, you could go right and then just be out of the fight, but... I mean, we heard from Funwalk before the game that the thing he's most worried about is Von Reg. Thank you, Nick. It's going for the BB. Barrel roll. Oh, wow. Okay. They, they turn away from Von Reg. I did not see that coming. Really just making a kill box for Phasma. Ooh! Five straight from Yellow. Already has the arc facing backwards. The target lock you see on green is from the green SF. Nice. Yellow with that fast move blocks Rose, probably, which denies the coordinate. Nice. And he moves slow with green. Takes the focus. He's already got the lock. Oh, he rolled with yellow. Why did he roll? He misses the block. Hmm. Hmm. 
Was he trying to get Ark on blue? I don't know, man. Oh. Hmm. I was going to say maybe he was getting out of the way of... For green. Green already moved. I don't know. He must have thought uh, Rose was going that direction. Phasma with a three bank left and a focus. Von Rag. He's getting out of here. Now, so you've got three, six, Eight possible dice in a green. Who's on five hit points? Okay. I do like the Phasma double tap. Attack out the front and the back. Oh, wow. There's the Daredevil barrel roll. Does Von Reg have nothing? All right, Phasma, Special Forces Gunner. First attack into blue. Hit crit. Blue taking a shield. Yeah. Out the back into green. 3v2 again. Two hits and a crit. All right. Natties, that's the way to do it. Green spins the focus, takes two. And the crit is console fire. So this green SF, going to do another 3v2. Oh, we got to get Rose. Range one onto Phasma. Spins the calculate for three. Phasma with two green dice and a focus. Blanks out. Gonna hand one off to... Who are you gonna... Yellow, maybe? Yeah, yellow's not taking... Yellow will probably take less shots. And then two on Phasma. Rose. So rude. ATP gets the calculate. Spins the lock. Ooh. Calculate keeps the focus for defense. Blanks out. 
Blanks out, no heroic. Takes two. All right, it's up to you, yellow. Uh, he's got to calculate from ATP. Oh, but he can't. He has to shoot at range one. Is that what that roll was? He was worried about ATP, maybe? Oh, well. Two hits. Blue. Spins the focus, takes one. All right. All up to fun walk now. Console fire roll on green. Who's on one? This could kill him. And does! He will still get to shoot. But that's one less T70 for Von Reg to have to deal with. There's the range one shot in a green. Yikes! Okay. One of eight takes three on green. Shields down half points. Oh, did he... He rolled... Oh, he spent the focus, so he, he only takes two. There we go. Range one into Phasma. One hit. One evade. So that's two T70s down, yellow. You got two Ty SFs at range two. Double crits. Phasma. Nope, that was in the green. Loses the last shield. Half points. Red debating whether to shoot. Wait, what? Uh, they're, they're having some damage issues. Hold on. Okay, so that shot was into Phasma. All right, somebody's half points, it's yellow. Yellow just took one on the hull. All right, so that round leaves us at 45 to 42. It is a three-point game, half points on yellow. Dead Revis. Phasma took two. Phasma and the green SF are both one away from half. 
Funwalk lost the green T70. Blue lost two shields, so two away from half. But it seems like Von Reg is primed to come into the game, right? One hard left. Start Asen. There's not an easy target. Uh, Blue has taken some damage, but he's not really close to Von Reg. But I do think... Ian, the barrel roll from yellow was weird. Maybe it was a way to get away from the red and yellow T70s. I don't know. Or to avoid ATP. I'm not really sure. Um, but he did utilize the back arc, right? Flew right past. Got shots out the back. Great looking engagement. Let's see if Von Reg can come in and start making a big difference. Doesn't seem likely that Phasma will get front arc with the turret this turn, so we might not see a three die shot. Sloop, says Blake. Do you want a sloop? Do you want to have no defensive mods? Or offensive mods, I guess. Where do we think these T-70s are going? They got to move first. Probably want to leave space open for rows. So things like a Talon left from blue. Don't think so. Rose, what you got? One banks, one and two forward. And Rose has to move before Phasma. So you're if 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 you're hinging everything on making sure Rose can take an action, which it may not be the case, but maybe, then you're looking at the one bank, right? So you can reserve this space, and if this space is open, three forward from four forward, maybe three, four forward from green. Block that. You know the T70s aren't going to be there because Rose wants to be there. Can you fit a 4k? One forward. Oh, rookie reminding me again of the BB Astromech. Yeah, I definitely forgot. Will red and yellow BB and turn back to Von Reg? Well, they can only bank, right? You have to do a blue maneuver. Do they have R? No, they don't have R4 or anything crazy. Yeah, so one hard from Von Reg. All right. The things that we know. That's probably happening. I don't know that a 4K fits there. Maybe a BB here. And a one bank.
This is who you'd like to kill. I mean, you could one forward, two bank. There's no real guarantee that this ship stays... in there, but probably. This is a beautiful picture. I've done a great job. Some kind of turn with the green SF, maybe turn toward the rock. Just to take a back shot at blue. I don't know that a too hard is safe. So red does turn in towards Von Reg. The K turn from yellow does fit. Never doubted it. Don't at me. I'm liking that. Four forward from green. The green SF. What is blue doing? Have we not completed red? Has the foils closed, so it does have access to the barrel roll, and does it. <laughs> hey, Wani, I suggested it, man. It's not just you, but I, I don't think it works anyway. Anyway. Tried the five straight, a little too fast. Three hard from yellow. Does he have arc yet? Uh, mm, I think so. Yeah, I, I think he's got a shot there on red. And look at that, the one bank from Rose. I rarely get things right, but I was pretty sure Funwalk wanted Rose to complete the maneuver. He made sure that his T-70s were clear. A slow, just a little bit slower with green would have gotten the block and in action. Ooh. Shift. You ain't got perceptive co-pilot. What are you doing? Uh, there's the sloop from Phasma. Hey, was it Blake that wanted that? There you go. 3PO calculates, yeah. He was trying to cheat, but we caught him. We got him, chat. Don't worry. We need like a police siren. Von Reg. Hard one. Deplete for a roll. He does not arc dodge, right? Uh... No, I don't think he got out. And now he's got a worse shot. All right. Went for an evade. He's worried. He shook. Oh, man. 
So the turn that Von Reg comes in, no damage. Yikes. Shooting a blue, right? Uh, yellow doesn't have any defensive mods. There's the two hits from Phasma. That was... Those are natties. Spins the focus on blue. Takes nothing. Rose got no shot. So now the SFs will shoot. Yellow's only shot should be into red. Did he have a shot? I thought so. Yes. There you go. Well, this mattered more when I thought Von Reg was going to do a whole lot of damage to red. Not quite. And actually, red is invincible. Double blanks from the SF. Gets a Calculate for ATP. Can I shoot into blue again, maybe? He's looking at Rose. Ah, that feels... Rose has the most mods. I guess he's got three dice, though. Does green not have ATP? No. Alright, T70s. Getting some vengeance. No shot for blue. Into the green SF. One crit. Hit crit onto Von Reg. He can avoid one of these. He actually naturally evades both. Three greens. You know Fun Walk is shook. He is mad about that. Oh, did I? I never uh, turned the timer back on. Let's set it to 21 minutes. There we go. Gonna evacuate some coffee. I'll be right back. Professional streamer. Is this the turn that, that uh, Von Reg actually does some meaningful damage? I mean, I guess he's he's forcing Von Walk out of position, forcing him to take it seriously, even if he's not doing anything. Did Red shoot? Yeah. It was a hit crit into two natural evades from Von Reg. Yellow SF did no damage into the red T70. Green SF shot into Rose for no damage. 
Phasma shot into blue. Hopefully we'll see Phasma be able to turn the arc around. I imagine it's going to be a one forward, one bank. Um, Atreides Justice saying, Von Reg's ability will trigger. And that is what we should all be looking for. The sign of a truly great player. One is remembering every single Revis trigger, but that's nigh impossible. Von Reg, though. Let's see it. He's more than an I-6. Treat him with respect. But, I mean, look. That red, blue squadron rookie is stressed. He's doing a blue maneuver. We all know it. Revis has wasted points. No way. Especially in a in a list with um with a tie BA who can target lock all the time. That's just more and more triggers for Revis. Oh, good point. Yeah, Mark. If, if Revis lived, he could have gotten a trigger off of Von Reg's ability. Yeah. Von Reg and Revis, BFFs. Revis plus the Hughes, also a good one. Yep, good point. Yeah. Look, I'm on Team Revis. If Revis's trigger is never remembered, it's waste. I mean, you can say that about every upgrade in the game. Oh, I should have built my list differently because I forgot something? No. We do have the bullseye. Ooh, there's a little bump there from Yellow Rookie. Too hard from the yellow SF takes and evade. Feeling a little insecure. Oh, he's on two hole. But he's got the calculate for attack mods. Revis, Phasma even, focus, rotate. Von Reg with the three hard. Von Reg continuing. He's he's trying to find that engagement. Doesn't like this one. Gonna find a different one.
three hits. Into blue. Yep, half points, down to three hull. Let's hit crit, two evades. Easy. Another Zeta into blue, range two, unobstructed. Ooh, another hit crit. Gets the crit through. Direct hit would kill him. It is a structural damage. Nope, he's on three. What am I talking about? Direct hit would have just rolled right off of him. T70 shooting one hit, one evade. Brandon, it is not a long weekend. You can't keep saying that like it's worldwide. Brendan gets a day off, everybody. Congratulations. Yeah, unfortunately, we get a pretty big wait list. Uh, on days when we have a lot of events scheduled. Let's see, what would be up next? Oh, it's uh, Peter. Peter and Florin. President's Day. Yeah, we're, uh, we're taking the weekend off for President's Day. How many are expected to make the cut for this Kyber Cup? 64. What is Florence's record? I believe they're both 4-1. and one. Down to 11 minutes. 63 to 45. Wow. 18 point lead for Ian. Oh, did blue hit the rock? I missed that. Rip, rip, rip. Structural damage. Two halt left. <laughs> Paul, I think you're I think you'll get there. <laughs> Mark, congratulations on your 69th place. Hmm. So blue is definitely the most vulnerable T70. Phasma, Von Reg, probably gunning for it. Now, with 18 points separating you, and two of these SFs, Phasma and Green, both one away, 
Green would only get you 17. That's going to put you one point under. Hard three from blue and a focus. BB barrel roll left and a bump from yellow. Blues, GTFO in. Talon roll from red. Feeling pretty secure in the full health. Three bank from yellow. Already got that blue. T70 in arc. Goes to the focus. And that would be a 2v1. So stands a pretty good chance of hitting that. A little sloop there from green. A 3k from Rose trying to catch Phasma. Here's Phasma. Is in one arc. Right? It's just Rose. Almost ended a bottle of wine watching the stream. <laughs> Man, that sounds wonderful. Enjoying that Friday. <laughs> the February frenzy. Love it. Takes the focus with Phasma. Now she's got... Fanatical, but yeah, you'd have to lose one more shield. One turn. Just goes for a boost. No shots for Von Rag. Phasma. Oh man, do you shoot twice into blue? Or do you try and get two damage into Rose? Gonna go into blue. It's a 3v2 no matter what, right? Because of the structural damage. One crit. Oof. One evade. Oh, it is a um, special forces gunner. Two hits, two shields off yellow. I didn't even notice that Phasma was throwing two out the front, but I love it. Rose, it's the same either way, right? Uh, well, you could kill yellow before it shoots but you would need two for any points there. You need two damage to go through. Phasma, you only need one to get half. Gonna go into yellow. Likes that possibility of initiative killing it. Uh, gets a reroll for having yellow in the arc, and ooh, hit crit. Yellow. One natural evade takes the crit. As long as it's not a direct, it lives. Blinded, so can't spin the focus. Seems unlikely to do anything now. But who knows? It'd be a 2v1 versus blue.
One natural crit. A blank in here means that ship is dead. It's a focus. Spins the focus and lives. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Blinded didn't actually affect that attack. Does mean yellow gets to keep the focus around for defensive mods. Green's got nothing. If Funwalk can take the shield off of green, that'll put him one point behind. Oh! Oh, man. Lucky to just take it on the shield. But as we can see here, it is 62 to 63. Now, can this ship finish off yellow? 3v2. Two hits. Yep. Yellow's gone. And now Funwalk is in the lead by 15 points. Coming down to what is probably the final round. So it's going to be up to Von Reg. He's got a lock on red, but that ship is untouched. Uh, did he roll too many of them? Zeta. Let's see. Mr. Walk. Yes, what happened? Uh, did you roll one dice for blue on your defense? Yes, I did. I did one eyeball <laughs> and got to spend my focus. Stop okay. harassing me, Scott. Come on. You know hey, man, chat's yelling at me. I'm just, I, I wanted, if something went wrong, I, I wanted everybody to know it's your fault. I, I rolled two on range three and one on range two. See, chat, I never doubted you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look at what you guys made me do. Now Funwalk's mad at me. I'm not going to get a Christmas card. Hmm. So blue is the vulnerable one. That is where you want to get the points from. Von Reg, Phasma. What if you... 15 points would tie it. You could get half points on Rose and go to Salvo. Yellow is two to half. Hmm. Connor, seven months. Thank you very much. Was that time? Wow, yep. All right. Final round is at hand. <laughs> Fairly certain you just subscribed twice. Well, you know what? Thank you twice as much. Double the gratitude. What are the blues for the SF? Looking at green up there at the top. One, two, and three forward. One and two bank. Von Rag. Oh, look at that. Checked his bullseye. Doesn't have it.
but uh, good on him. BB. Can you BB while you're stressed? He doesn't have a banked one, but oh well. Mm -hmm. Did did you undo the barrel roll final? Yes, I undid, I but I accidentally thought I had no stress, so I did the barrel roll and just moved normally. I think you you did the barrel roll, then the bank, then you undid the bank, and then redid Maybe the bank. Let's let's redo it. Undo that. I think you need to no, undo one more position. time. Right? One more time. I can undo it if you want, but I think he was in that. Oh, was, was that a barrel roll you just undid? Oh, fun walk. Like that. I can't believe I'm you. Sorry. I can't believe you. I'm sorry, my fault. I, I, I accidentally did it because I thought I was. Yeah, it's all right. We can do that too. But I, we I'm all know. Good. We all know. Yeah, yeah. We. <laughs> he hit the undo button, but he didn't hit it twice. So. I think we all know that fun walk's trying to take advantage. So blue running for his life. Rose, too straight. Goes for the coordinate. You know what? This is even better. This position is better. Because if he wanted to, he could coordinate to red. Where I think if he BB barrel rolled right, red wouldn't be in range. But he, he goes for the boost. Okay. Actually, boosts out of green's arc, right? There is Phasma, who probably has the double tap, can shoot into blue and rose, but he may, he may, you may just want to focus, rotate, put everything into blue. Range two, focus, so it'd be a 3v1, maybe even target lock. Phasma's not in any arcs. I think the double tap's greedy. I think you need to target lock rotate. He doesn't. Oh, maybe he'll have Von Reg down there and it doesn't matter. He could roll boost if he wants. Oh, he does the Daredevil. He's going to be strained and in yellow's arc. I thought he was going to boost down here to blue. Take two shots into that. All right. Von Reg. 4v2. Again, in red, you need... Four damage. Well, that's a good start. Spins the focus, takes two. But there's nobody left to shoot into that ship, so... There's no getting half points there. Now you've just given yellow a way to get half points on Von Reg. Now this is going to be a 2v2. It could have been a 3v2. It's not range 2, so that's a bummer. Didn't go for the lock. You have to blank out here, and he's not going to do that. Uh, but you do get a shot into Rose. Now, for Rose, you need two damage. Is there a reason to shoot into yellow? You need two damage either way. Rose gets the reroll. A focus or a blank would be half points. Oh, there it is. And that brings us to a tie. 78 to 78. Now, that would mean Ian needs to take no damage from this shot and the shot into Von Reg. And we get a salvo. Green. Hold it together. Gets the reroll. 
It's going to be two damage. Green is... Well, he could take some damage. Spin the focus, take nothing. Von Reg, though. Man, Von Reg! Why are you here, Von Reg? Oh, did this ship... Alright, sorry. Uh, we had not shot into... Shot from the SFs yet. Focus for two. Uh, I guess... I guess Rose could die here. Well! Okay! Um, that's not happening. So this shot into Von Reg. If you give up half points on Von Reg, that's 29 points. Hit crit. Von Reg gets three. He needs one natural evade. Doesn't get it! He gives up half points! Oh no! And that puts Von Walk back on top. Leads by 14 points. And that is it for the match. Fun Walk. Goes to 5-1, and one. Ian, 4-2. and two. What a way to end that match. Congratulations to Funwalk. Thank you to Ian for playing, and thanks to everybody for watching. That'll do it for that one. Until next time, this is Scott from Hexile Gaming, signing off.